Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog and I just filmed myself doing some tie-dye. I scrunched up my shirts, tied them up with some rubber bands and I decided to do both like a teal blue and a black. So I think they both turned out really good. I don't think I ended up filming a like final product, but whatever, it's fine. You'll probably see them in other videos anyway. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and enjoy some of my tie-dye. Okay, so I got this tie-dye done. It's really cute. These are the leggings. It took forever to dry though. But I think they're super cute. I can't wait to try them on. And then here is the shirt in the same color. This one is not as dry as the leggings are. They're still pretty damp, but I'm just gonna let it hang up for a little while. And maybe I'll try to put it back in the dryer. Oh, also I did kind of um, move some books around a little bit, mainly because I wanted to put this one facing out and I wanted to put this one also facing out. So I just decided to kind of redo a lot of my bookshelves and they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy with them. So that's what they look like over there. Here's what these ones look like over here. And then there's my black bookshelf, which is just like a whole mess. <laughs> about my face and I don't have uh, any makeup on I don't have my hair done it's like all disgusting and gross I just finished watching Hamilton and oh my gosh I cried so much at the end it was amazing it was literally everything that I wanted it to be everything that I both expected it to be and everything that like it just completely blew my expectations out of the water. It was literally amazing. So I feel like I could watch it like 25 more times, but I'm not going to because it's like literally it's midnight. Like, look at that. If it'll focus, it's literally midnight. It took us so long <laughs> 
to get the Wi-Fi and the TV to work because literally so it took us at least 15 minutes to get the Wi-Fi working and then when the Wi-Fi was working it took us another 15 minutes to get Disney Plus to work and we were just like I guess we're not watching Hamilton today because it was literally already like 7 30 and we're like it's just not gonna happen today and then it did and everything was fine and um I waited until later on in the day because my mom had some stuff to do and I really wanted like all of us to watch it together and it was so good I made snacks and I got some wine <laughs> and it was just so much fun it was literally the best experience and I loved it and I really hope that one day I can actually see it live because I feel like that would be such a cool experience I don't know I'm just like I loved it it was amazing but now I'm going to read a bit more of Beneath the Citadel I am loving it I am well over halfway through so I just have this part left to finish which is about a hundred and eighty pages I would say so a little less than 200 which seems like a lot but <laughs> I'm like well over like I think I'm around like 60 ish percent of the way through so hopefully I can finish more of this tonight and then I can finish the rest tomorrow. Okay, so I am currently on page 321 of Beneath the Citadel by Destiny Soraya. I want to get through as much of this tonight as possible so I can finish the rest of it in the morning. So I'm hoping, you know, maybe I'll get, you know, at least half of this done tonight if we can, if we can do that, I don't know. And then I'm also doing this face mask right now. I'm currently listening to my Wicked Saints slash Ruthless Gods playlist because I just listen to this all the time now. So it's just kind of what goes on. Also, it's really cool because um, I got this new desk chair and I put it together today and it's so comfy and it's so much better than the dining room chair that I was uh, originally sitting on. It was just so uncomfortable and so I'm so glad to actually have like a real desk chair. I wish it was white so it could match the rest of like the stuff over there but it's okay the black is fine it's really comfortable and I really like it. So I did some fun stuff today well just like one fun thing um I did some tie-dye I know literally I just keep doing tie-dye it's like my favorite thing and it's really fun and easy and not super expensive to do so it's like I'm bored and so I tie-dyed this sweatshirt it's really hard to tell like what color it is it looks like it's pink on the screen but it's actually like a camel color it's really pretty and I just like did like a little crumply tie-dye I didn't really want to do anything crazy um, and I really love how it turned out it turned out so good and because I wanted it to be more of a neutral tie-dye I ended up buying Rit dye and I got tan and I also got gray the gray one is currently being dried and so I decided to actually not wait overnight to wash these mainly because they were really dark and I was like I don't want them to be dark I don't want them to be super saturated I really wanted them to be very like light so I'm very excited with how it turned out I love it I think it's very cute and um, I'm super excited to see how the gray turns out because I don't have a gray one this one kind of looks like the one I already own but that's a pink tie-dye and this one's technically tan so I don't know also I did want to talk more about Beneath the Citadel by Destiny Soraya so um, I read this book I think it took me two weeks to read this book I actually really don't know how long it took me to read this book for some reason I've just found it super hard to read lately it's just been like my brain is like everywhere at once so it's just been super difficult to try to like focus my brain for even like a little bit but yeah I really enjoyed this book it had so much good representation um and there's one two three there's five different main characters so it goes through a lot of different points of view in this book but I really love that about it because I love fantasy books that go through multiple points of view. I get really bored in a fantasy book when it's only one perspective. I just cannot like 
enjoy it for some reason. I don't know. It needs to have at least two perspectives. <laughs> and I was actually given this recommendation because there's a fat main character in this book, Alice, and she is wonderful. I loved the representation so much. It was really nice to see some really good positive fat rep in a fantasy book. I feel like I've never really seen that before. So it was really exciting and I really loved it. There's also some like men loving men stuff in here and um, it doesn't really focus a lot on the romance though. Like this entire book is pretty much focused on the friendships between all five characters. A lot of just more like platonic relationships and like familial relationships are explored in this book, not necessarily romance. I feel like that's definitely more of like a really small subplot, <laughs> which I mean, I know a lot of people really like romance in their books, so this one might not speak to a lot of people, but I really don't mind not having a lot of romance in books as long as like the characters are really well developed and they're interesting. And as long as there's like good representation of friendship in a book, I don't really mind if there's not a lot of romance. So I really enjoyed this. It was super interesting. Uh, just like five characters who are all friends and they're trying to kind of take down a government and it's fun. I really liked it. I feel like I'll talk about it more in my wrap up. So I don't want to like give everything away. I am currently reading Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar and I am loving it. I'm about 40 pages of the way through it and it's really doing it for me. The, the writing is so good and I've read one of their books previously, I think a few months ago, and I enjoyed it but it definitely wasn't like a four or five star book. It was just pretty in the middle and it was good and I would still recommend it but it just wasn't like the book I was looking for. But Felix Ever After, at least so far, like 40 pages in, it's definitely the kind of book I was looking for and I just love these characters already and their sense of style especially is like my favorite. Like the way that Kaysen describes the style in this book from like each of the characters, it's like so vivid. I can imagine exactly what they're wearing, what they look like, their entire like aesthetic, like each person has a, such a different aesthetic. And I really love that in contemporary books. So like, I don't know why, I just love like reading about clothes, reading about st like style and fashion, aesthetics. Like, I don't know, it's just so interesting to me. <laughs> so yeah, so far so good. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I feel like it's definitely going to be one of my favorite books of the year. I know that's really soon to say that, but I'm loving it already so much so far and I love the friendships, I love the family dynamic. I'm just really excited to get through this book and see what happens because I'm just like, I need to know already. <laughs> so the gray is finished and I think the gray might actually be my favorite out of the two that I did. The gray is so flippin' cute, I love it. I'm going to get back to reading some of Felix Ever After, I'm loving it. It's so good and I'm just so happy that this turned out really good. This was actually the second one that I did um, of the day. Like I did the brown one first and then I did the gray. So I was worried that the gray wouldn't turn out as good, but it actually turned out literally amazing. It's like exactly what I wanted it to look like. And I'm glad that like the color took, it's literally perfect. It just is everything I could have asked for. It's very cute. So I'm super excited. We're going to read more Felix Ever After. I'm loving it, like I said, and I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, so I want to finish up this vlog and I want to talk about the book that I read last night. I finished it. It's Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar and I gave this book a five out of five stars. I read it last night. I literally stayed up until three o'clock in the morning and I just needed to finish this book because I fell so hard in love with it and the characters and the plot and everything that was going on, like the writing was so beautiful and so just perfect that I needed to finish it. I just needed to finish this book last night at three o'clock in the morning. I feel like this is a book that I would have really, really enjoyed in high school. Like the entire time I was reading it, I was like, high school Allie would have loved this book. She would have related so hard to Felix as a character. I felt like the way that Felix interacted with romance and love was so similar to how I did when I was in high school. And I just, I loved it so, 
so much. And I did read Kaysen's other uh, YA contemporary, this is kind of an epic love story. I read that a couple of months ago and I think I gave that a three out of five stars. So I was like, I liked it, but there was a lot of things that I was really disappointed about. But with this contemporary, I just was so in love with it. I just love Felix so much. And if you read my Goodreads updates, I didn't make too many updates because I was just so engrossed with finishing this book. But if you read some of them, you'll like see, I just like loved Felix. Like he was just so, just so much fun to read about. I don't know how to explain it. I was just like, every time he did something, I was like, just I felt it with him. But I do have to say that there was so much secondhand embarrassment in this book for me. Like literally Felix would like do something or something would happen and I would just be like, oh my god, I can't handle it. I have to put the book down. I can't like read past this because I was just like, if this happened to me, I would be like dead. I would just be like spiritually emotionally dead so i can't really speak on any of like the trans representation because i'm not trans myself so i just i can't like really talk about whether it was good or bad but i really love this book and i love felix as a character and i felt like kaysen really brought their a game in this book like this book was written so well and everything fit so perfectly there was nothing superfluous about this book and there was nothing where i was like mm, that could have been cut or like mm, that could have been edited like no this book was genuine 100 perfection it's heartbreaking it's happy it's sad it's literally every single emotion you could think of in one book and there's so many different topics that are like tackled in this book i loved it i loved it i loved it it just like listen to the hype it's so so good seriously i feel like if i had the option i would have just read it in like one sitting but i feel like i just want to like pick it up and reread it again and again and again and again and again i loved it so much okay so on to the book that i'm currently reading i picked up mirage by samaya dowd and i am actually buddy reading this with a bunch of people and I just needed to start it immediately because I was like, technically we're supposed to start it tomorrow, but I'm just gonna start it early because I'm really, really excited and I really wanted to read it. And I figured that I wouldn't really be able to like read something in like one day anyway. So it's just better just to start it. And I'm only 17 pages in, so I'm not like super far into it, but I'm really enjoying it. It's like a sci-fi has a little bit of like a fantasy element to it. It's really cool. I'm really, really enjoying this so far. But yeah, there's not really much else I can say about it because I'm only 17 pages into it. So I guess I will update you guys more when I get further in. And I did just get a book in the mail and that is Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. So I actually unhauled the arc of this book mainly because I wanted to get a physical copy, like an actual finished copy. And I saw the cover for the UK edition and I was like, I need it. I need it in my life so badly. I love this cover so much more than the US uh, cover. And it's just beautiful. Like the, the entire aesthetic of it, it's so pretty. Look at the colors. Look at the art on the front. She's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. The spine, the back. It's just all so, so pretty. So I was able to find this specific copy and I ordered it from the UK and it came. It took a little while because, you know, uh, international shipping and stuff, but I'm so happy to have it in my hands. It's so beautiful. Like, look at it. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I feel like I say this in every video that I've been making recently, but I have been in such a fantasy kick. So it's just really exciting to have this copy and I finally get to read it. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to read it. I put off the arc for way too long and I'm so glad that I actually got a finished copy. So especially the UK finished copy. It's so beautiful. Okay, so that was my reading vlog. Uh, I feel like this reading vlog is a little bit scattered. So I'm going to try to make next time's reading vlog to be a bit more like streamlined i guess i don't know so yeah i will see you guys in my next video go ahead and give this video a like subscribe to my channel also go ahead and follow me on instagram twitter and goodreads and hopefully my next reading vlog will be much more coherent bye Ooh, I